Hi everyone, thank you so much for joining me today. I thought today I would do 10 styles that I love to wear during the summer. Sometimes we're looking at all of these styles and we're thinking, well, does it have low permatease? Does it have low density? What is going to work for me during the summer? So I thought I would pick out 10 from my collection. I'm sure I'll add some more, but I wanted to pick the 10 of my go-to summer styles. All of these wigs are from Wig Studio One that I either purchased myself or they provided to me for review. If I have reviews on these wigs, I will leave them listed down below for you in the description box. Some of them are pretty old, but I still wear them. When I say pretty old, they're two or three years old. I have 10 styles from in 10 colors from seven different brands. This is not going to be a review. However, I will give you as much information as I can about the style as I'm going through them. All right, let's get started. Uh, I'm just going to pick one out of the pile. I'm going to start out with Leah from Ellen Villa and the color Candy Blonde Rooted. I have Leah too since it, it was first launched when they replaced the, the first Leah. And I just love this wig. It, I wear it often. It's one of my grab and goes. It's so easy to wear. Always looks beautiful. It does have heat friendly fibers. We have an extended lace front on Leah too. And we have a left mono part. The density is very light on Leah too. Ellen Villa does an amazing job. Um, making the permatease and the density as realistic as possible. The permatease also on Leah is minimal. Perfect length, perfect throw and go, great density. I mean, if you wanted to wear a tuck behind your ears, you could do that. If you want to wear a headband, you could do that. Because of the heat-friendly fibers, if you wanted to add some waves, you can certainly do that as well. Personally, I like it just the way it is. Leah 2 in the color. Candy Blonde Rooted. I didn't mention that I live in Florida. Our humidity is high. It's hot most of the time. Right now I'm not wearing, because I'm just uh, recording this, I didn't apply a wig cap or a wig grip or anything. But if I were going out, I would be wearing a wig grip. And I don't think I mentioned it that Leah does run true average. That's what we all usually find on Ellen Villa's from the Changes collection. I I started wearing wig uh, Ellen Villa when my circumference was 21 and three quarters. It's now 21 and a half inches. The reason of the change in my circumference is because I've lost 110 pounds, so that has really contributed to the size of my my circumference as well. I'm going to stay with Ellen Villa. Right now, this is Stella in the color Rosewood Brown Rooted. I absolutely love Stella. I did a comparison video, Stella, Trend Alert, and Unfiltered. My favorite of the three is by far Stella. Also, just like the other two, it has heat-friendly fibers. On Stella, we have a left mono part and we have an extended lace front. Again, no, uh, the permatease is nearly nothing. It's nothing to speak of here. The density is on the lighter side because we do have Ellen Bill and we also have an extended nape. If you prefer a wavy style, I would say you could even use Stella as a sister style to Leah if you don't want to, uh, look at my mirror, if you don't want to uh, curl your Leah, but you just want to have something curls or waves, I think that Stella would be a great sister style to it on the wavy ends. And Stella does have heat-friendly fibers, so if you wanted to straighten Stella, you can certainly do that. I'm not good with any of that. I do it sometimes, but very rarely. I I just like I just like to get my wigs and throw and go. The next one that I have 
is the last one that I have from Ellen Villa. This is a spree in the color Chocolate Lighted. This spree is probably over two years old. With the spree, we have traditional fibers. We don't have heat-friendly fibers. We have a temple-to-temple -temple lace, not a temple-to-temple, -temple, I apologize. We have an, uh, an extended lace front, so it's going to be from ear tap to ear tap. We have a left part, and we have a hand-tied cap. We also have an extended nape. Because this is a hand-tied cap, we're not going to have any permatees and the density just like the other Ellen Villas were looking at light density. I tried to choose wigs that have light density because it is the summer and the more it, the higher the density the more permatees all of that is always going to make us feel a bit hotter at least it does to me. So I try to choose wigs for the summer that are going to be light density and are going to have minimal or no permatees at all. Esprit is from the Hair Society collection. Because it has a hand-tied cap, it's going to run a true average, probably leaning a little bit on the larger side. I do have it cinched in almost to the center, so that's about half an inch on either side. Great little style, real throw and go, a little bit of waves. This is another great style that if you wanted to have something with a little bit more waves as a sister style to Leah, you can certainly do that. Nothing to do to this. This is just a real throw and go. I actually have it also, I think I have it in silver blonde rooted as well. But this is my preference is the chocolate lighted. So I thought I'd show you this one. I've got one Raquel Welch in my um, lineup here, and this is portrait mode, and it's in the color Shaded Ice Latte Macchiato. If I want something that's a little bit dressier, if you will, it does have a little bit higher density than some of the other ones that I'm showing you, but I don't think it's in abundance. And the permatease on, on portrait mode, I think it's minimal. Portrait Mode has been one of my favorites since I first uh, purchased it. We have an extended lace front, so it goes from ear tap to ear tap. We have a full monofilament top. We have a, um, a weft cap, and we have an extended nape. The nice thing also with Portrait Mode is because it has that full monofilament top, we can part it in any direction that we want. So if you're a right-hand parter, you can certainly part it on on the right on the left in the center wherever you like and still have that illusion of scalp i feel that portrait mode uh runs true average i do have it cinched in to accommodate my 21 and a half inch circumference but as you can see we're we're going to have a beautiful illusion of scalp we're going to have a beautiful lace front. I absolutely love portrait mode. As you can see, there's not a whole lot of waves here because I wear it so often. You can tuck it, no permatease really on it. Maybe the tiniest, tiniest bit at the crown, but it's almost non-existent. And I feel the density is really on, on the average. I don't feel it has high density. It's got a good length to it. I think it's so, so pretty and so easy to wear. This is Liana from the Orchid Collection. That's Renee of Paris and mine is in the color Moonstone. I had, I have Jones and I have Stop Traffic. I have a few that have bangs that are kind of wavy, but I have to tell you, Liana is one of my top favorite styles. I absolutely love everything about it, and I love the color Moonstone. This is probably one of the first Moonstones that I've ever had, and I think it is so pretty. We have a basic cap with Liana, so we're, they're going to keep the price point uh, pretty low. I mean, it's, it's a basic cap, but even though it's a basic cap, I feel the permatease is minimal. It's not like we find on 
Jones. On Jones, we have a little bit higher uh, permatease. And I think the density is just your average density. So you could wear it tucked behind your ear if you wanted to do that because the density is really not high down here. It's very low density down here. We have a little bit higher density here and the permatease, as I mentioned, is really minimal. It's not an abundance. I think this is a perfect style, a real throw and go, especially for those of you just you just want a basic cap. You don't want any of the all, any of the frills on it, any bells and whistles. We don't have any monofilament. We don't have a lace front. You like bangs. You could certainly trim them a little bit if you wanted to do that. But I think it is a great style. I love Leanna. I've got one from Gabor. This is new to my collection, but I know that I will be wearing this wig. One of, I have fallen in love with it. This is Glamorize Always in the color Shaded Cappuccino. Loved Glamorize Always. I was really looking for a style that I could wear that would be relatively short. I have a very low hairline, very low. I'll show you. See, my hairline is very low. I actually have to get it, um, I have to go and get that trimmed. I know, it doesn't look pretty, but I want, you know, we got to be real here. With Glamorize Always, the nape is long enough and you'll see that it covers, covers my low hairline. So I was thrilled about it. With Glamorize Always, we have a, we do have an extended lace front. We have a full monofilament top. We don't have an extended nape, and I would say it runs average. We we don't have, let's see, we have a little bit of permatease, and I think the density is probably a little bit higher than some of the others that I showed you. I would say it's just the average density. It's not an abundance, but if you're not, if you're looking for a low density, this won't be it. Beautiful lace front. You can tuck it if you wanted to do that. I'll probably thin mine a little bit just because I like it a little lower. The, the density, like right around here, I'll probably thin it a bit. And it does a really nice job hugging at the, at the nape. Pretty feathering on the sides and a sort of angled. And then as you can see, it's, it, um, hugs the nape nicely and covers my very low hairline. This one I purchased and you know, I had totally forgotten about it. I don't think I've ever worn it. This is Cameron from John Renault in the color Storm. And I tried it on the other day. I, I was cleaning out my closet, my wig closet, so I could put some on my website. And I came across this one and I thought, Oh my gosh, I have not worn that wig. So I am going to wear it this summer. My One of my first wigs, I think it was my second wig that I ever had was Cameron by John Renault. It was in the color Chocolate Cherry. During the first year of my wearing wigs, I wore three wigs. I wore Columbia, Taylor by Noriko, and Cameron by John Renault. That's what I alternated with. Love it. With Cameron from John Renault, you're going to have a temple to temple lace front. We have a full mono top and it is a complete hand tied cap. We don't have an extended nape. I will, I do want to mention that if you have a 20, a 21 and a half inch circumference or you have less, you may want to go with the Cameron Petite because uh, hand tied caps by John Renault run on the larger end of average, they run average large. And if you get one from the light collection, if you will get say Cameron light, that runs even larger than the regular Cameron. But I already have this, so you know, I'm gonna make it work. And it'll work fine for me as long as I wear my wig grip, but I already did the wig grip thing. We're going to have a, a light density and we're not going to have any permatease because this is a hand tight cap. However, I will 
say that if you we're comparing it to let's say Cameron light then we're going to have a lower density on the Cameron light versus the regular Cameron and I think this color storm is so pretty we do have some nodding on the front it doesn't bother me I don't care but I I do want to point that out on this color we do have some nodding but if you like bobs I think that you would love uh, Cameron, I think this wig is just a real workhorse. Look at that parting, how amazing it is. Wear it off the face. You have your perfect bob and you have that hand tied cap, which just, it just, uh, it fits like a glove on your hand. It, I think they are amazing. I am a big fan of hand tied caps. Fibers are really soft too. We don't, I'm not at least on this one, we don't have dry fibers. This is pretty similar to my bio hair, minus the root, but I always wear root. I know not everybody likes the root. I get it. Thank goodness we have lots of choices, right? Those of you that know me, you're going to be really surprised. I have only one bell tress in my go to's for the summer. There's just so many wigs out there, you know? And I wanted to really be honest about the ones that I'm choosing. And this one is actually new to me. This, Well, it's not only new to me. It's also, it's a new style. This is Secret from um, Belle Tress. And mine is in the color Cookies and Cream Blonde. I love the style. And I love Cookies and Cream Blonde. If you like uh, a really cool, ashy blonde, you will love cookies and cream. We have a, we have an extended lace front. We have a left part, minimal, minimal permatease. And I would say the density is just average. I try to choose shorter styles, but you know, sometimes we just want something a little bit longer. Maybe we're going out to dinner. Maybe we're going to an event and we, or you're like me, you just prefer to wear longer styles. I'm going to finish this video with two from Henry Margot. Okay, I lied. I lied. It's not Henry Margot. It's Main Attraction. I have Regal and Nutmeg from Main Attraction. Regal is a wig that I have worn so much. My other one, the one in Latte, I purchased it, oh my gosh, like two and a half years ago. And then I saw this one on sale and I thought, okay, I'm going to get it. With Regal, we have a good price point. Very, we have a light density and we have no permatease at all. Regal has a full mono top and we have, I wouldn't say, it, it does go almost to the ear tab. Not as extended as some of the others. We have an extended nape and we have a weft cap. This is almost the same length, right around the same length as Secret. It runs on the larger end of average. The fibers on Regal are going to be a little bit drier than we find on some of the some of the others. But you see, you could there's no permatease here, none, none whatsoever. I think it has a good length if you want to wear it. You know, if you want to wear a tuck behind your ear, if you want to wear it probably in a very low ponytail, you could do that as well. It's a very sleek style. Very, very sleek. But I thought it was worth mentioning. Actually, I thought um, Secret was the longest one I was showing you. It's not. This Regal is actually uh, a bit longer. I think it probably has some layers in it that we're not going to find on Secret. Secret is also heat friendly. And Regal has traditional uh, non-heat non friendly fibers. I really need to review this wig because I wear it so often. I don't know, I don't know why I never reviewed it, but you know, it's just one of those things. All right. 
Now I'm really finishing off, and this one is from Henry Margu. I have the video recorded for this one, but I haven't uh, put it up yet. This one is not talked about too much. This is Fiona from Henry Margu, and I absolutely love it. This is a shorter style, and mine is in the color 10613GR, one of my favorite colors from Henry Margu. On Fiona, we're going to have a full mono top a temple to temple lace front. Whenever you see this on the cap, that is an indication that we're going to have a little bit of permatees right at the crown of the of the monofilament and it it goes almost all it goes all the way around. I think the reason why they do this with these uh shorter styles and they have a full monofilament top is because the density is going to be light with a lot of the Henry Margus. So what happens if there's no permatees at all? You're going to have a, a style that just falls. It's going to be very flat. And I can tell you, as someone who is not a, a big fan of permatees, some of these styles you you're going to you're going to need it. I know for one, if I have a style that just falls completely flat, I I. I just say, okay, I need a little bit of permatease here. Not in abundance. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm just talking just a minimal, minimal amount. And that's what we're going to see on Fiona. I've had it in the box. So there's definitely some box hair here. You could barely feel it. We don't have that pillowy permatease on here. We just have enough so this style won't be totally flat. If you wanted to add a bang on Fiona, you could do that. I think it is such a cute, pretty style. Perfect if you don't like a really, really short style. You just want something that just falls right above your shoulders. And there's lots of options. I mean, you could wear this with a headband. You could wear it tucked behind your ears. You know, it's I think Fiona is a perfect style and not talked about too much. It's not a new style by any means. Oh, I didn't mention these are traditional fibers. These aren't heat friendly fibers. Let me know what you think about my summer picks. Do you like any of these? Did I spark your interest with any of them? Did you say, oh, I didn't think about that one. Let me choose that one. Thank you, everyone. Let me know down in the comments what you think. I hope that everyone is having a fantastic day, and I will see you all next time. Bye.